A man loaded up his truck full of his own garbage and drove it to a home along a Slater Road in Lake Country. He proceeded to use that site as a dumping ground, but the homeowner of the property caught the man in the act. And after confrontation, the owner says things got extremely weird. I drove down there to see what's going on. And he was just trying to leave, and I there's only room for one vehicle on the uh, kind of the the side road there. So I blocked him in and then asked him, "Did you just do an illegal dump?" And he didn't want to admit it, but then he finally, I said, "Well, I'm going to walk over there and look." So yeah, he did, and I told him, "Really? I'm like, you're going to back up right now. I'm going to watch you put it all back in your trailer." I even told him, "I don't even need to phone the police. I'm going to have enough satisfaction just watching you put it all back in your dump trailer." So he pretended to do that, and he had no license plate on his dump trailer. So the plate that was on his truck, he had it folded up so you couldn't read it. I went to go take a picture of his plate number, just to have it, right? Mm -hmm. And he saw me do that, so I had to go between his truck and the trailer to get on my knees to take a picture. He jumped in his truck and he gunned it. He dragged me a few feet, ran over my right foot, so he, he basically tried to kick me. I mean, that's the whole truth of it. And then he came back, apparently... I guess about three in the morning last night, and he left a case of six bottles of wine, and he left a really strange note on there about please take me off social media and stop the head hard. So then I went down to see if he came to mess up because he left the gate open. He went down there again last night in the middle of the night, so he decided to burn it all. So he started a fire, I think, to get rid of any evidence that was actually in there with receipts or something, his name on it, and he burnt my shed down, and now the fire department's there. They said they're going to be there for a few hours to put the fire out. RCMP are currently investigating the situation. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart in Kelowna.